What's going on guys? This is Chance and I am back with some Call of Duty gameplay for you guys. Finally, I know it's been a long time in between videos and I apologize yet again for the lack of gameplay, commentaries, content in general on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's probably the last time I posted a video was before UMG Atlanta. So that was a long time ago pretty much. A couple weeks now it's been since we've gotten back from Atlanta. So I'm going to use this video to update you guys on what went down in Atlanta and, you know, post Atlanta, our status as a team, and what our plans are for the last two months of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So, start off, uh, you know, typical, we flew into Atlanta Thursday, um, got situated got in the hotel great venue by the way great hotel um the hilton was outstanding it was nice the rooms are great um great venue venue was set up awesome um, i had a great time you know in general when we weren't playing because there was a lot of stuff to do hotel was great like i said but thursday night hung out um caught some football it was actually the first week of the preseason um that thursday of the event but, you know, our main focus was make sure we got some sleep because Friday all the gameplay started. And Friday night at 5, they started 2v2s and free-for-all. Uh, myself and Nifty played in 2v2s, got first-rounded. And Garden Nine Hill played in 2v2 and got first-rounded. We were both shocked that we both got first-rounded. And uh, we were pretty, pretty baffled, to say the least. But... Um, free for all went on after 2v2s and Nihil and Guard ended up playing in that making it to finals I believe um, but none of them made it in the money but they did make it to finals and that ended around 2 o'clock in the morning but myself and uh, Nifty we were back in the hotel because we were making sure we got a good amount of sleep because Saturday is when the 4v4s started and what everyone was actually here to play and it was all about the 4v4s so we had the 6 seed going in, as I probably stated in my last video from that online qualifier. We had the 6 seed going into the land. So we were excited. Um, it was That's a great seed for us, and we were really looking to place well and benefit from the seed and try and upset some top teams you know, in the later rounds of the tournament. So Saturday, 10 o'clock, the uh, 4v4 started. Uh, first round, a lot of teams had to buy, and we had to buy, so... Got past first round with the bye, obviously, and uh, moved on second round. We played a team. Um, I forget who it was. It was more or less of a warm up for us. We 2 0'd them, got our shots ready for a long day of playing, and then moved on to round three where we played uh, Team Ravage. Uh, they were actually a very underestimated team, and they came out. They took the SD from us in the series, but we ended up winning the series 2 1. Um, very close games, intense games, and then that moved us on to round four where we ended up playing Unite in round four winner's bracket. And round four is the point of the tournament where a lot of the good teams started to play each other, and that meant a lot of the good teams being knocked down in the loser's bracket. So you saw a lot of good matches round four of the winner's bracket, and ours is one of them playing Unite. And... There's a little story behind the pregame between us and Unite. Uh, the Unite's roster then was Saints, Embos, Ricky, and Nameless. And that was the first event I believe they used uh, Hilton as their coach. And this was the event they really broke through as a team and made a mark as a team. And we ended up, you know, seeing it firsthand. But before the match, you know, we were setting up. We were ready to play. We were feeding off a lot of momentum from that close, you know, intense win against Ravage. And we were looking to turn that and try and upset Unite and, uh, you know, get a big upset early in the tournament and send them down the loser's bracket. But when we were setting up, it took us two hours to get on a station that had pro that didn't have audio issues in the mix. Dance. We played on the front stations. And on the, f the front stations, which were the first four, they had set mix amps that were already daisy-chained. And there was audio issues on every one of them. And it took us two hours to get on a s one of those stations that finally worked. And all the audio issues were for on our side of the station. 
So we lost a lot of our momentum and we lost our, our shots. We weren't warm. And first map we came out and got blown out of the water on Hardpoint on Yemen. A lot of people saw what happened on Yemen and you know, it wasn't good. I'm not gonna lie. Like we got blown out. And the best we could have did was just, you know, keep our heads in the game and just move on and take it one map at a time. And that's exactly what we did. We came out in Search and Destroy Express and won six five, six four, I forget, but we took third we took Unite's only S and D map that whole tournament. We were the ones that beat them. And and we were we were pumped up after that, you know, we're like, let's go. We got them in the third map. It was a best of three series and we went up ended up going to CTF on standoff and their super aggressiveness really caught us off guard and they beat us on the CTF. So we got knocked down on losers bracket. Um, that match was for top sixteen. So we had to play one more match for top sixteen at the end of the night and that was against the fake team fate. And I said fake because I give props, you know, I give credit to my my boy Snowhair, you know, who came, who, who started Team Fate back in Black Ops 1, but we ended up 2-1 uh, in them, they took a search and destroy from us again, and uh, we blew them out on the respawn game modes, but, so we were top 16 going into Sunday, and we ended up, at, we played Soar first thing on Sunday morning for top 12, um, that was Realize, Stainville, Heist, and Methods, and they ended up 3 0ing us. That was a best of five. Um, we just, you know, we just weren't ready for it. You know, they were the better team. Um, it was just, you know, unbalanced, you know, stats from our team. And they, like I said, they were the better team. You know, they were more prepared. Um, they had things down. But so we ended up play, placing 13th through 16th um, in the tournament. We got 14th technically. And that was Atlanta for us. Um, I didn't get to our post plans, but that's a wrap up of UMG Atlanta for High Society. And another video to come later on, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.